All right, so Rick, you're sitting in front of what I am going to be using at field day. And uh, it looks like you're already ready to want to use this thing. Everybody remembers my Galaxy GT550A. All tubes. What do you think, Rick? We're going all tubes and we're going all solar. Yep. I am going to run this thing off grid, on solar, no scope, no waterfall. No, we're going no old school. We're yeah, going man. old school. Yeah. You know why? Because the shirt says, don't be a scope head, call CQ. I don't need no stinking scope. Right, Rick? We don't need no stinking scope. <laughs> With a D104 microphone. Look at that mic. I bought that at Ham. I've actually I bought all this at Hamfest. Um, you gotta love the D104s. And that's yeah. So I bought this, and I, I might take that case off and touch that paint one day. I bought this with the matching power supply and speaker, and then I, I bought this for what 350, and then I paid yes. 50 for that. So 400 bucks for that setup, and uh, I'm going to dial this thing down to 150 watts or less because. This is uh, this will do 550 watts peak, uh, peak input or 550 watts input, 225 250 watts output. But in the class we're at is what 100 150 watts. Yeah. So I'm going. I have uh, Jan's power meter over here, and we're gonna use this so I could dial it down because that's I gotta pull up now the Rick. I'm gonna have to get the uh, the manual online. I forget you had to go to like you know calibrate, and then you had to go to tune, adjust the plate, the load, the the exciter. So I'll have to, what, maybe turn the exciter down to get the power down from, you know, 250 to 150. I would think. And uh, with that D104, that's going to be a loud voice on HamFest. What do you think? I think it's going to be Not awesome. HamFest, uh, Field Day. Field Day, Field Day. Yeah, Field yeah. Day. So we're cooking them right now. We're getting them all heated up. Real, two, real radios glow in the dark. Exactly. <laughs> real radios glow in the dark. Or if you're from Rhode Island, you said the DAC. The DAC. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to give you an update here <clears throat> during field day here in 2021 at the Indian River County Fairgrounds. What I got going on, and I this this message is for a lot of people have been asking. No, I do not live in the RV any longer. I bought a house, and what this means to me is now I got to use this thing first time, other than taking it to my friend's house at Orlando. Uh, for a little vacation but we lived in it so we brought our house to orlando now me and my wife we took this out to field day here and guess what guys this is running right now all day off grid there's the power cord from the shore power that i used you know last night but i had radios on generator and battery all right so the, the biggest change i made <clears throat> With my solar setup is if you look at the app here, this one's on Bluetooth and tells me my current solar conditions. I changed my panel configuration to 72 volts. That's both banks of 30. I had them all in 36 in parallel. They're all 36 volt solar panels. But then I split half and half, put them in series of 72. Now you can see I'm pulling in 963 watts right now. But uh, earlier today, I think I was pulling about 1100. And I'm charging at 30. 37.68 volts. My voltage on my battery bank is 24.6 volts. Okay. So with the AC running on the inverter, which the inverter, don't don't pay attention to my mess here. There's my inverter I mounted. Now that's at 24.4 volts. I know that that inverter is not as accurate on the display for voltage as is the um, solar app because I have a battery monitor probe on the on the solar you know charging drawer. So that thing is still running. Now, is it hot? Oh, fans are running. I keep these doors open. I'm gonna put a ventilation system in here uh, on the doors so I don't have to keep them open. But, so let me show you this, because a lot of people were, were like, wow, dude, that's cool, man. So here's my battery plan for those, because check it out. This is on a whole separate channel on YouTube that I have called the Ponderosa. And you may have not known about that Ponderosa channel where I show how I put all the solar panels in, you might want to subscribe to there. It's up here and somewhere in the top of this video, same little card pops up. Let me show you the battery plant here. Now, again, I have a 24 volt inverter, okay? The panels I have configured 72 volts coming in to the solar MPPT charge controller. I did not put the cover back on the wires, excuse that. Um, and then this is what I did 
for those who have never seen it. If you watch the Ponderosa channel, you know. All right. This is a 24 volt battery plant. I made all those connectors, jumpers myself with the, sometimes I ran out of heat shrink, you can see. But, uh, and the fuse I haven't mounted yet, but 250 amp fuse. So, 72 volts coming into here. And then the MPPT drops it down to 24 volts, which is 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. And then another 5, 12. And then I ran both banks of 12 in series for 24. I have about 400 amp hours at 24 volts. That's 80 per battery times five is 400 on each side. Then I ran them in series. Then over here, I have two 12 volt alpha cells in series, a uh, parallel 12 volt, two, uh, 160 amp hours. That's on a separate charge controller, which is actually right here. I have two 12 volt solar panels up top. So that will run the water pump. That'll run the uh, 12 volt system, the lights, the outdoor LED lights, the indoor lights, the water pump, the starters for the hot water tank and the thermostat run on 12 volts, okay? <clears throat> now, I put the rubber here so in case I have a fire, but I, didn't want, I did not want the batteries inside there to lose the space and also to be a fire hazard. So you may be saying, wow, that is a kludge but that's the only way I can get it done. But hey, you know what? Again, it's ice cold in that thing, as long as we have sun. Um, you know, I have a bunch of portable panels and stuff, but we're pulling in, I have 1,265 watts of, 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 of solar up top. The panels collectively are 1,265 watts, um, and then uh, 250 watts for the for the 12 volt, okay? That's what we're running right here. Now, this gives me excitement because, you know, and for those who don't know, I have the wires running up here, which a couple of them broke. I tried zip tying on the way here, the wind, okay? Um, and from those, uh, so that inverter here, I ran the wire underneath, which I could just see now this one came off. Tie that up, but I got it under the frame. It's not gonna come out, uh, and it's a mess now, but I ran the wire all the way underneath the frame rail and I came out here, and why did I do this? Because I did not want to modify anything in the breaker panel, so I have this uh, eight gauge, three conductor wire, I put the plug on here, and when I'm done, I unscrew it and I shove it in this bumper here. Now, right now, I could drive down the road, I could run the slide out in, and I could drive down the road with AC going if I want, the fridge going, everything, charging with the sun, okay? It's a 34 foot Catalina Coachman Legacy, uh, one slide out with the porch that you saw. It's got a, you know, all the stuff you would see, hot water tank and hot water on gas, stove on gas, oven on gas. And I also have gas heat and an electric fireplace heat. I can run the electric fireplace heat on solar as well. It does work, okay? So um, what I wanna do now for my ham buddies out here that are watching, here's what I wanna do. This thing doesn't fog up when I go inside. That's a mess. We had, man, we were up for days cleaning this thing. Um, it was spotless. It still is clean in here, but, you know, we got our radios and stuff here. Now, I can tell you that I ran on solar for about 15, 20 minutes. But, man, that transformer and transmitting it, it, it drained those batteries quite quickly. I could run the AC all day. And look, it's still going, guys. Ice cold, man. And I got two ACs in here. I can't run them both at the same time. But this is a 15,000 BTU, draws about 15.5 amps uh, during running and like 45 startup amps. Um, so what I wanna do, cause the wife's not gonna like this. I want to have, I'm gonna install a couple outlets. I'm gonna get a couple portable tables like this. I'm gonna install a couple outlets, one over here, one underneath the table over there, couple. And it's gonna be different outlets hooked up outside so, or, or uh, connectors so I can do, let's say I wanna run this solar, uh, I wanna run the AC on commercial power, okay? I can plug that in, but then I can have plugs over there just for solar to run radios, phone chargers, stuff like that. Uh, I could also um, do a generator. We got a guest. We have a guest on camera, guys. Who is it? Beautiful. We're still on solar, guy. How did you do this? It's amazing. Hey, I'm, I'm calculating five hours today on solar, and it's it's. Holy cow! It's uh, wonderful. It's cold in here. Yeah. This it thing is. fogs up every time. I know. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the heat because it's Florida, you know. 
I, I'm spoiled. Here, you know what they're going to say on this video? Oh, that ain't no field day. You're out there in the AC with a full shower and hot water. <laughs> that's not that's not real field day, dude. <laughs> live large, live large, baby. All right, so normally they take, um, people go and rip the breaker panel apart. I haven't touched anything on the breaker panel, you see? This is all the way it came. All right, 12 volt system, 120 volt. Usually it takes a 50 amp split phase and I just have a 30 amp running in off that inverter. Uh, the fridge will run. Uh, it's a mess over here right now because we're wrapping up field day. But so that's that's what I want to do. I want to have outlets over here through the floor, and that way you want solar, you want a generator, you want commercial power, or do you want a battery? That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna have all of them under there, there, and there. Okay, and then that way you can set up a radio here. Now then I'm gonna put bulkheads underneath the chairs that just basically pull up with the wood. And then I'm gonna have a bulkhead under there so I could have S like five or six SO239. Do you wanna use your satellite tracker and sit inside? Screw it there and the cables are gonna come out underneath and they're gonna go somewhere to the back or the front so that way I can uh, not have to do this. This bothers me. I don't like doing that. I did, but you get it. I want to... Uh, go ham radio concepts i want to have uh bulkheads so that you know i could run solar generator battery or commercial power whatever you want um and uh, i did have to borrow the battery out of my new smoke detector here for my d104 microphone that uh, went dead the battery went dead in there anyway so the fireplace for heat you got the tv tv in the bedroom um and uh, water pump, hot water here, so, and then the porch out here. So now here's another thing, you see this? If this doesn't fog up, because it's 48 degrees in it. So you see I have speakers out here, but I also have a cable hookup, I have an outlet, and that outlet comes off of whatever's running 120 on the, the house. I'm gonna cut a couple more, I'm gonna go behind the fireplace, cut a couple more, and it's gonna be solar, generator, commercial power, and then a couple bulkheads so that you could just plug in, you know? And that way I could mount stuff uh, outside, like my, I could do my tripod out here, right? And then I could just, that's uh, got the Chameleon 40 meter, 20 meter, uh, Cha 4020 FD fan dipole, works great. And uh, I could be able to take those and just, you know, screw them in underneath, one, two, three, and then you pick the antenna you want inside. That's the way I want to do it, that'd be cool. So this is what it's turned into later this evening in the RV. What's up, John? Hey, what's happening? You remember John. So uh, earlier today, fast forward here a few hours, we got the RV here. It's turning into a mess. We got the, we had lasagna. How was the lasagna, John? Amazing. My wife made lasagna. I did make the sauce. And we've been making quite a few contacts on the tube radio here. Look at that, huh? And that is, so the tube radio is running on generator power. Um and it's loud. That radio makes some contacts with that D104, and that Chameleon uh, fan dipole's working great. You're on the dipole now, right? Yeah. So he's he's running on the battery because uh, uh, the generator sometimes makes some noise and it makes it on the waterfall. So he's got the 7300, brought the table in here. He's got my laptop here for logging and uh, the battery. So um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, man, I got the M-Pass over here I want to play with. I got the uh, uh, his stuff, I got my drone, I got uh, all kinds of stuff here. Uh, what's been going on so far with the bands, John? What do you think? Uh, I've only been on a little bit. Uh, 40 is, like, booming. Uh, yeah. 20 is, eh. Well, you were making, I mean, it's after midnight right now, and you were making contacts on 20 meters. I was doing that on the tube radio. On the tube radio, yeah. that's right, that's right. We don't need no, what's that shirt say? We don't need no scope, man. Well, John does. <laughs> John needs a scope. Uh, I don't. I, I'm oh, not. Scope, I, I, I will not use that radio. I'm only using tube gear today. Okay, I'm gonna get all these guys. We're gonna start with ending in whiskey. Go ahead. Echo India number nine, hotel whiskey over. Echo India nine, hotel whiskey. This is whiskey for Oscar Tango. Please copy six alpha. Sierra Foxtrot Lima, South Florida, over. Yeah, Roger, one Delta DX, one David DX, over. Uh, one Delta DX, Roger. Roger, 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 Roger. Very good, thank you very much. 7-3. There's other stations in there, let's get them all. This is Whiskey 4, Oscar Tango, QRZ. 
that chameleon's monster out there. Uh, we'll do it again. QRZ, Whiskey 4 Oscar Tango. All right, let's end with Charlie Quebec. Go ahead. Kilo 4, Charlie Quebec, 2 Alpha Virginia, Roger. Okay, this is Whiskey 4 Oscar Tango. Please copy 6 Alpha, Sierra Foxtrot Lima, Roger. Have a good night, my friend. Enjoy it. 7 3. This is Whiskey 4 Oscar Tango, QRZ. Uh, whiskey, Whiskey 4? Whiskey, Whiskey 4, Kentucky Bourbon. Oh, Kentucky Bourbon, very good. This is Whiskey 4, Oscar Tango, copy 6 Alpha, Sierra Fox Trout Lima, Roger. Uh, Roger, please copy 2 Echo, Kentucky, Kilo Yankee. Got the Kilo Yankee 2 Echo, thank you very much, enjoy your evening, 7-3. Whiskey 4, Oscar Tango, QRZ. November 4, Okay, hold on, Triple November, we'll start with the November 4 in the beginning, go ahead. November Kilo 4 Tango, please copy 6 Alpha, Sierra Fox Trout Lima, Roger. Roger, please copy 1 Delta Alabama. 1 Delta Alabama, thank you very much, 7 3. And let me take that triple November, go ahead. Station ending with November, November, November. Kilo 2 November, 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 please copy 6 Alpha, Sierra Fox Trout Lima, Roger. Uh, class and section again, please. Ah, uh, you just faded on me. I'm sorry. Let's try a QRZ from Whiskey 4, Oscar Tango. Uh, Kilo Echo 4? Uh, Kilo 4? Kilo, Kilo 4, Echo Mike Delta? Okay, Kilo 3, Echo Mike Delta, please copy 6 Alpha, Sierra Foxtrot Lima, Roger. I got you 6 Alpha, SSL, please copy 3 Alpha, 3 Alpha, Delta, uh, 3 Alpha, uh, 3 Alpha, and then a question mark. I got the NBC, and copy 6 Alpha, Sierra Foxtrot Lima, South Florida, Roger. Thanks, have a good night, 7-3. Whiskey 4, Oscar Tango, QRZ. All right, so here's, here's the overnight. John's already fell asleep twice, like 2.30 in the morning. You got to, he's over here, just, he's, he's shot out. He's had a lot of, he's, <laughs> he's had a lot, a lot too much meatballs. His, his generator died. He's, uh, Made hundreds of gas. hundreds of contacts on FT8, and, oh. and then we got one trooper over here. He is uh, he is making contacts, and uh, this man right here started when he was 16, sitting right. So uh, my trailer's over there. You you saw me knocking out a bunch of contacts while John was sleeping. I didn't get the camera though because he had it in his hand. Mine's the blue one over there. Anyways, uh, tomorrow morning we'll have uh, a lot more people out here. They all, we usually stay up overnight so I don't have to deal with anybody fighting over the bands. And uh, yeah, so that's your overnight. You got anything to say to the overnighters, John? It's like the Love Doctors on ZZR, you know, you get the, the overnighters. The overnighters, yeah. This is the overnight show. I'm not making show. it all night. No. I'm, I'm ready. How cold is it in the trailer? Oh my God. It was so cold, I had to turn the AC up. <laughs> that's, that's cold. Did you touch my AC? I did. <laughs> it took me 20 minutes to defrost this camera. Here I come out here and the lens was iced over. Yeah. What do you think, Dave? I'm not going to make it the rest of the night either. How, 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 have, you, how have you done with contacts? Uh, over 100 contacts today, digital. Did yeah. Pretty good. Definitely better than last year. Yeah. Looking forward to uh, banging some more out. I only got about 40 under my belt. Usually I, I have more steam, but I don't know. My tube, my tube rig was doing well, and then uh, John had to come in there with the 7300. And he, had to, he, had to, he, had to be a, he had to be a scope head. He had to, he had to play with the scope.
I, I go all tubes so that I don't have to ever play with that waterfall. Are you so. sure you're going to say no? Uh, yeah, we'll, say we'll, no. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll announce it later. Yeah, well, you, you can say it. I'll just bleep it out. Go ahead. <laughs> when the bands are closed, <clears throat> when the bands aren't open, step one, turn the radio on. <laughs> step two, spray your propag antenna propagation antenna spray. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> propagation spray on your antenna, correct. Yeah, there you go. SWR yeah. spray and, and step three, squeeze your microphone button. Yeah, yeah. I got here at one today. John, John's been out partying all day. John's like, yeah, I'll make contacts now. I'll stay the overnight. Eats my wife's lasagna and passes out on my couch. <laughs> John, would you like me to read you a bedtime story? Yes. <laughs> I think one time on YouTube we actually snuggled in the same bed. We did. In, in your little toy hauler trailer. Yep. Is this halfway decent for uh, accommodations at Field Day? This is awesome. You want the top or the bottom tonight? <laughs> Well, here is it 9 a.m. on a field day on Sunday, and here's how we wake the indigenous field day ham radio operator that's been up since up till 3 in the morning. Crikey is alive! Oh my goodness! Oh, what the At field day, we always get to see Jan, <clears throat> the elusive uh, Jan Goodman here, KK4GGJ at field day. What's up, Jan? What's up, Eric? I'm just setting up a little spotting rig to check each of the bands the guys are operating on. And okay. uh, do a little monitoring and see what the rest of the country is up to on the different frequencies. Awesome. So uh, how has uh, field day turnout been this year? Turnout was good. There was uh, about 35 people here yesterday for lunch, a little less uh, crowd for dinner, and of course you guys on the overnight crowd, I don't know what went on yet. I I'll pass it when I see I, the video. I, yeah, I got that. Let me tell you, that, that chameleon fan dipole, that thing is, is uh, awesome. Simple, simple portable dipole that they have, but I put down 40 last night, and man, I got into a contest mode. I think I knocked out like 45 contacts in like 10 minutes. In like 10, 10 minutes. I mean, I had just a pile up pulling them by phonetic people only or, you know, phonetic this. Only the four. Only the four ending in Y. <laughs> like, uh, I had a lot of, lot of uh, but then I kind of petered out. Yeah, well, it was uh, active when I went home last night and uh, kind of unwound, but turned on 40 meters and the band was wide open. So we're doing okay. We're running a uh, Chameleon Zeppelin antenna off the uh, top. On, uh, Chameleon Zep, they don't make that anymore, do they? No, they don't. That's uh, the Infed Zep. We have a counterpoise coming all the way down uh, to ground level, and uh, it's running on a, uh, what would that be? That'd be a southwest uh, direction. We have uh, east-west, we're running the 137-foot uh, uh, offset uh, Wyndham uh, Buckmaster. So those two are coming off the trailer. On our trailer, of course, we're running the cobweb. Yeah. Up on the tower, and uh, that Buckmaster's half and half coming as an L to the tree. Uh, we have uh, many other chameleon antennas and uh, running different verticals. Of course, field day is supposed to be an exercise for emergency operation. It's not a contest, but an exercise to get people out, get them together, yeah. and uh, learn what your problems are. How long can you run on battery power? We have guys running on solar. Uh, my, my off, I switched over. The sun's out today. I am, John is in there sleeping. Taking a nap in 38 degrees in my <laughs> AC, and I am complete off-grid charging at about 48 amps right now on DC. Okay, so. and, and of course, uh, you saw my electric car in the video. I have the uh, inverter in there. We haven't had to use it. The generators have been performing okay. So you been, did you make coffee this morning off the battery in your car? No, we did not. The coffee was made before I got here. Okay. So uh, okay. we're lucky enough to be here, back here at the uh, Indian River Fairgrounds and uh, having a great time. The weather is beautiful. Yeah, last night about 12, 1, 1.30 in the morning, it started raining, pouring. But we were all good. We yeah, here's Brazilian. Phil's uh, 40 meter setup. He's on a 40 meter dipole. Uh, Phil just lives on 40 meters. So we're doing good six alpha this year. <clears throat> how many kind? Have you looked at the log? How many contacts we got? Uh, a couple hundred, a few hundred. No, there's more than that. Oh yeah. Yeah, and they're not all. We are having some network problems, so we're working through those. Gotcha. I was looking for you, Eric. Okay, next year you gotta get, get here a little earlier because we were trying to get the 
rope. We're trying to get to rope up to the red and white tower to get a little more altitude <laughs> over there. But we didn't have anybody with a drone. Let's see if I zoom in on that. And uh, we had nobody with a drone, and I didn't bring enough rope. I couldn't figure out how to. Every year I look at that and go, God, I forgot. They got to get a drone here, and I got to have a lot more rope. Yeah. Well, we're going to be making satellite passes here in a moment. Uh, Rick's going to. So I'm going to do the space station, and he's going to do AO-91. But Excellent. We're going to let Rick redeem himself. He wants there to. There he is. Rick's going to redeem himself. Hello, he Rick. Might. Hey, welcome to field day, Rick. He might redeem himself if he has the correct connector. Oh, oh watch this. Watch this in my pocket. I roll up. I kill. Look, look, Jan, look. I roll around in my pocket with the correct let connector. Let me see. <laughs> Mr. Jim. It is indeed. I want to. I want to say hello for my video here. One of my many videos at Field Day. We always got to see you at Field Day. Can you give us uh, any news on what has Field Day been this year so far? Well, uh, you know, of course, uh, we're fortunate in the state of Florida to have uh, some of the most beautiful weather on the face of this earth. Today is an especially nice day. We, we have breeze. We have sunshine. We're protected under a lovely covering. And we've got a great team from an uh, amateur radio group that uh, exceeds 100 members. So, uh, yeah. And a lot of those folks are here tonight, uh, or this morning actually, after working long nights, as, uh, as we did. The bands were in our favor last night. 40 was meters. on fire. 40 was on fire, 20 meters uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning. It was still rocking. Uh -huh. John, so, uh, John got on there early in the morning and uh, it was still on. So I think our group is going to do good. Our, our, uh, our legendary... Uh, CW operator Dwayne K4LNN passed away a couple of weeks ago. He's here with us in spirit. Yep, he's here. He used, to, he used to add about half of the points that this club scored every year. And, and we had uh, fun stories overnight. We, we could stay true. up all night, man. We would talk about all kinds of stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Morse code truly is a unique language. And for whatever reason, the brain can copy Morse code at the same time you carry on a conversation. Oh, yeah. I was Most talking. Most of us can talk while we're doing the Morse code thing. I was so. talking to him one time, and he was playing my FT450. I was talking. I was like, is this guy? He's like, oh, I'm listening. Hold on. He yeah. typed it in. That was Nevada. I just talked to him. I'm like, what? <laughs> he was talking to me and Nevada at the same time. Well, I'm glad you're out here and we'll uh, be anxious to see your experiences with the old tube rig and whether you warmed up uh, the morning breakfast on your, your tube rig. We will find out. Can you give me a, a plug of your shortwave station and tell people Absolutely. your shortwave radio show so they can tune in? We have a shortwave station that's in the 60 meter band. It's at 5.085 megahertz, right above WWV. Comes on at 9 o'clock Eastern Time every night. It's 100,000 watts. Big old rhombic antenna that serves all seven yeah. continents, and we play good old rock and roll. And uh, tonight, uh, well, I don't know whether you're going to see this video, but uh, uh, we uh, maybe we'll archive it. Uh, Eric is going to be the featured host on our show tonight, uh, uh -huh. talking about the ham radio concepts. Can't wait to see it. Yep. Thanks, yep. Joe. It's good seeing you, buddy, as always. Thank you, partner. Great to be here. Good to see you. Now, a field day, my, mine's cool, but I ain't got no straight pipes. <laughs> that is an RV, Big Jim. <laughs> He's been on FT8 all night, David. What's up, Jim? I'm still teaching Jim the ways of the RF theory. So one day I'll, <laughs> I, one day I'll get him uh, as an expert. He'll know how to set up an antenna one day. Yeah, one day. <laughs> all right, Jim, we got to wrap it up with you because you're always the field day expert here. David, did you have fun? I had a great time. You, how many FT8 contacts you work? Wow, okay, very good. Did you get any phone in there? I did, actually, 15 meters. I was killing it this morning. I uh, was able to do the uh, solar uh, and natural. Oh, natural, right, so right. We logged some of that. I, I got about 30, 15 meter uh, phone contacts this morning. Sweet, what'd you do, Jan? Oh, I'm just support team. I need connectors. The SWR's too high. Yeah, you're always, well, you're always going around helping people. Oh, man, they run me ragged. But I'll tell you what, we did a good job. Everything's packed up, as you see. Everything's cleaned up all pleased. We had a nice lunch and uh, the club stuff's all packed up. Now, contrary to popular belief, we did not use any propagation spray, guys. It was <laughs> all legal. And if you downloaded the PDFs from ARRL, it was 41 pages this year with the questions and answers and regulations. So we adhered to everything we're supposed to. Yes, so we did. I hope uh, everybody in had a good time with Field Day. And uh, you learn a lot, because if during an actual emergency and a hurricane here, if you've lived through a 200 mile an hour hurricane, when you have uh, no support, no cell phones, uh, no water, no electric, and all you got your ham radio, 
and uh, maybe a solar cell and a couple of batteries. So learn how to use this stuff, maximize it, make it last long enough to be helpful for you and the rest of the people in your neighborhood. And uh, we'll be ready for next field day. Yeah, definitely. That's 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 what this is all about. It's it's an exercise, not a contest. It, exactly, it's not a contest. I mean, even though it's Jan likes to make a contest with the fastest electric car on the planet. It is. <laughs> a Tesla can kick my butt, but I spent uh, fifty, sixty thousand less. So you know, yeah. but mine looks better. So Your, yours you is un yours is unique though. Yours is pretty cool. Yeah. John, how was how was that how was that sleep? Thanks for waking me up in a very rude fashion. <laughs> I had never, I, that, that was, I, well, I mean, last time I got woke up like that, my wife grabbed my hair. What? I was like, whoa, don't wake up. We didn't want to miss the satellite pass. We couldn't <laughs> leave you laying in there forever. I was like, what's going on? I mean, the house could have been on fire. I didn't know. All I knew was, <laughs> nope, that was successful. Field day. Did you have fun? I had a good time. I appreciate the air conditioning and the bed that you provided. Yes. <laughs> he asked me, he asked me last night, will you read me a bedtime story? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that wraps it up here at field day. I'm going to finish wrapping up over there to take that big rig home. And uh, when you see this video, I don't know. Check out check out me and, J and Jan, hey, uh, Jan, me and Jim. I am uh, a special guest host on the 5085 shortwave station about field day. We did that and his uh, on the on the mobile studio. That was the last night. In the yes, studio? yes. So it should be yeah. airing tonight. So you gotta oh, watch. Can't wait. You to gotta watch you it. gotta listen to it. Okay, put it on the big screen. Exactly. Seven three everybody. This is KJ four YZI with K four GGJ seven three all. David. KG four ORQ. He's the one. He's the one that doesn't like talking on the phone. He just does FT eight. <laughs> <laughs>